Hello everybody, welcome back to Excalibur Vanilla Adventures, and yes, I'm, I just lost that sword. Well, time to, woo, overkill, wow, that was, that was awesome. Um, we are actually at the spider spawner, yeah, um, hoping to get some XP, and we are going to go down here and just make our way in. Um, I did a little bit of modification. There we go, we can do this. I'll probably come down here and get all the XP and stuff. The problem is, let me see if I have a sign. Do I have a sign? No, a ladder will do. A ladder will work. Put a ladder right there. And that'll stop the water from flowing in. But we can come down here and just hammer at the spiders. And they'll swim up and die if they don't want to be down here. Uh, only issue is right there we have um, a dead space so I'm gonna need to get some more hoppers to fill in there but other than that I think we've got a working trap um, let's see here I've got one hopper but that's got to be put in a different way so we'll do this uh, we're gonna get we're gonna get hurt aren't we? So we'll do this, swim up, and as we swim up, we'll do that, and then get to the escape. There we go. Ooh -ah. So the only thing that's really going to get us uh, anything, any type of XP or whatnot, is going to be us down here smacking these guys around. problem is these guys can climb climb up uh, blocks so if I just position myself here they shouldn't be able to hit me although they tend to attack a block away oh we have another well, one two hoppers we can probably use and uh, let's see here can we go along on the side here um, what we want to do is come down one break in this way Is that? Yep, it is. Wow. Okay, now we can see. And uh, I'll just go ahead and fill this in the way it should be. That quote unquote touches water. And uh, now, what the heck, we'll just fill this all in here. Let's go on the other side and do the same thing with this other hopper. I'm going to have to go in two, but hey, that. Nobody said this was a perfect system, right? Ah, oh, man. I just killed one of the signs. Alright, and then... There we go. We'll fill this in. Let's hope that didn't mess up any of the water flow. And now it's pushing stuff away. If it is, I'll be a little more than irritated. So we can just sit here and let the spiders come to us. And of course the drops are going over even farther. They're not happy, not happy. And the problem is... Oh, okay, we had a skeleton uh, spider jockey over there. So if we just sit here, these guys come over and drown, or we can whack them and get some experience. How lovely is that? You gonna come and give me? You gonna come and give me? You gonna just sit there and drown? I'll just smack ya. Um, for the most part, I think we're gonna do okay. We could probably... Put the chest right here and get that last hopper we need going. Oh, they're on the. There they are. So, what we'll do is do this and we will put some things up in here. There we go. Put that up there. The string. Grab the hoppers and then break this guy. Uh, throw that 
that string up in there. There we go. Get that other chest. And we can just do this. Go binky binky. And I'll get email. How lovely. Make it a little bit more homey in here. We get another spider jockey. So this is probably going to get all backed up. Make sure all that stuff gets in there. And, wink, we can get rid of that guy, and that guy. Come around here and we will put in this other hopper, is it right here? Oh yeah, we can do that. Ooh, doo -doo -doo. Pow. Should clear up the water. There we go. I'm gonna fill this in with uh, andesite. Yeah, 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 yeah. My standards have gone a little bit low there. So there we go. We now have a room for killing spiders and junk. And this was. <laughs> yeah. A way to get up and down. We can get up either way. We no longer need this, so I'll pull that down. So. We have these guys, and we will be getting XP here. It's not like the, the the most awesome farm in the world, but we have access to killing spiders all over the place, and hopefully they will drown. Let's see what happens if we get rid of that that block right there. Uh, doesn't look like it'll do anything important. Yeah, hit me. So we're going to see if that works at all. Um, the problem is that line right there. Now, what I could do is probably put signs right he along here instead. Uh, maybe here and here. Let the spiders come in. And swim up if they want to because that's what they tend to do there we go and then these signs here will not be in the way and everything that falls from above will come here and everything over there will get pushed here we don't have a lot of signs so we can't do that but I bet well if we break that sign yeah, it's going to go the other way which is bad. So let's just put that back right now. Whoop. For now, this will this will be pretty good, I think. Um, I'll have to come back and test this out and see if I can't get this to work even better. Um, they do swim up, and if we limit how high they swim we should have a little bit easier of a time with them because right now they're coming they can come all the way up here we can go in we can see them down there well we back up and they'll want to climb up to us they're underwater they should want to swim up but they are not so one thing I may do, and this is not flowing water down, well down there it is, uh, one thing I may do is just make the killing chamber a little bit lower and just fill all this in. We are going to have to see. It's not like I don't have access to a lot of science and stuff. I wish there was a way we could collect XP through uh, another means. But this is not the most efficient farm. Nope, not at all. Alright, well, I think that is good for now. It's almost, let's stay down here until daylight hits. And we'll go up and deal with what we have to deal with. So, why don't we take a step back and we'll look in here. Yeah, there's one of our signs. Um, and then there's a string that we're getting, so I'm going to go ahead and do this. That's for that. We're going to get a lot more string. 
this is rare that's not gonna be in there that's not gonna be in there there we go um, and actually I do this well there we go Here's. And then these guys should be one each I know it's a little nitpicky they get a lot more string than anything else so we may as well move these guys down as well to here so I think that's where we're gonna end up with that and that's gonna be string and then everything else is gonna be incidental down here so we'll make sure the arrows are here because that's what's gonna happen next we can just shift click that in Ooh, we might get some bones which I actually have bones on me So we're almost at 30 levels. And we get some spinning spiders. Which we can't quite get. We'll have to go upstairs to get. That's why I think we should put the uh, kill whoa. The kill chamber. There we go. A little bit um, higher up. So let's take a look here. We've got some bones. We'll just go ahead and put those next all of those put this string up there <sighs> so I I think this is gonna be successful at least in, for the short run until we find a skeleton spawner there's a spider spawner is the only thing I've found so far and I wish this sword had unbreaking because that would be far more amazing We could technically break this and put this guy there just to make sure. It'll let us see up. And we can go out here and get anything that's fallen and make do any maintenance if necessary. Control Q that, see what happens. Yeah. We'll get you and you and you. Yeah, we need to get it so that the stuff flows into here and lands on that instead of sits there. So any signs we get, uh, we're gonna have to go ahead and put them across. Whoa. There. Oh, come here. Are you afraid of me? Are you afraid of me? It's probably the better bet. Probably got some spiders up there too. I picked up a spider eye. Gunpowder. I um, probably had that on me already. I don't know. I don't know. Smack them. Get some more XP. I want to get up to level 30. Yeah, yeah, that'll do, that'll do. So we're going to have lots of string production now. Oh, there we go, get that in there. Lure them in. See if they come. Oh yeah, here they come. Spider. Oh, you don't want to, you don't want to come in, do you? I'll just smack you. We get that XP because well, I like that XP. And um, I can show you the design in creative, uh, the creative world. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to go into creative. I'm going to build out the room so you can see what it looks like. And I think I might have a way to force them down here if they climb up the walls. But I have to figure that out too. Um, it might work, it might not. We're gonna have to see. Ooh. They like come out of nowhere, look at that. Alright, so that is that. I'm gonna figure out a way to uh, get this to work properly and force the spiders in here because right now it's just a big old pain in the butt.
The boot, 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 boot. Yeah. And I think it's going to have to involve having water casca cascade down into a collection area. And we will make sure that happens. We only need a couple more orbs. Boink. Oh yeah. So let's see here. At this rate we're going to get a lot of string. I'm going to get some spider eyes, which we can use for potions of harming. Oh, there we go. I'm going to do... And we can get these signs here. Because they are no longer in use. Make this pretty. We can use this as the main in and out area. That's no problem. Oh, man. There we go. Sign, sign. Everywhere there's signs. And the cool thing is, while we're here fixing this up, What the heck? Oh, the, the ladder. Mm -hmm. um, and here comes one of those guys. Kill this, and this, and this. And make sure we have ladders all the way up. And we can reclaim those put up our ceiling like so and we can actually make this room smaller so that we just walk right into it we don't have to worry about those rooms but I'll keep them set up anyway yeah we can reclaim this and all of these and yeah we got lots of cobble so we can fill this in then use whoop, our andesite there feels a little bit more claustrophobic now doesn't it um, let me come back over here and we'll kill these ladders one two three and make sure we get this filled in grab that torch gobble 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 gobble, gobble. Gobble, 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 and then we get our uh, andesite. And what we're going to do is, this is going to be scary. We're going to have a lot of darkness in here that we don't need. There we go, level 30. Just what I was looking for. Oh, there's a lot more coming now. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and put a couple torches, well at least one torch, inset in the wall, like so. We'll put it right here. There we go. That shouldn't affect spawn rates too much. If it does, then uh, it does, I guess. Oh, excuse me. Uh, there's that. We'll get something to eat and... Actually, we're going to do this right here, right there. Yeah, and we can come down here and just hack away with glee. Well, that was quick. Now those guys are really coming for me now. So what we can do is just leave this. Uh, let's take a look in here. Awesome. Put the string up in there and that up in there. I can take anything back with us. And now we're going to head on out. We can even come up here and smack some stuff down. But I think it's going to change too. We're going to have to see about that. This is our spider killing sword now. So, oh, and it's raining. Great. So any mobs that were up there are still going to be up there. And we can get our faces blown off. Alright. Let's uh, get up here and run. 
run, run. Run for our life, Charlie Brown. Run, run, run. We'll go ahead and sleep through it. And then we'll go and enchant something. Yeah, I really need to fix those stairs. <laughs> Everybody's still golden and happy. And, whoop, come on, that's right, can only sleep at night. Erf. So, I am going to be ripping down this other side here. So that we can focus on just this side. Because 8 is enough. We don't need um, 16, though. 16 is really nice. We've got 24 chicken. Not a super huge amount. This is not a server. And that was my son. He's just having fun with his iPad. Oh, that's right. I changed things up a little bit. We're starting our storage area. And we're getting up to where we can get straight up to our enchanting spot. Let's see here. What do we want to enchant now? We have an efficiency 4 silk touch 1 unbreaking 3 pick. An efficiency 2 unbreaking 2. Let's go ahead and make ourselves another pick. Maybe we can get lucky. Maybe. Let me think. Whoop. And then whoop. let's see what we get. Uh, we need lapis. We should have some in here. 1, 2, 3. Uh, all right. Yeah, he's really excited. He's, I think he's playing his minion game. Wink. Unbreaking 3, Efficiency 3. So, hmm. Unbreaking 3, Efficiency 4. Efficiency 2, Unbreaking 2. Huh. So, not so wonderful on that. Unbreaking 3, Efficiency 3. It's a good work pick. That's about it. Uh, this is an awesome pick. This is not such a good work pick. So let's go ahead and take some books, and we're going to enchant when that many. So let's get this construction stuff up out of here so that we have room for our books. I'm going to take these three and count. So we're just going to grab a bunch of threes, uh, and that could explain why, because of those. So there we go. We get an, a respiration too. Oh, that's good. We don't have that many. So let's go ahead and add a torch here on the outskirts and see how that works. Oh, 22. There we go. Fire protection too. Not too shabby. 22. Ah, let's just grab 12s. Aqua affinity. That's one that we need. Silk Touch 1, yep, that's one we need. Sharpness 2, yeah, that'll work. Sharpness 2, oh, we got a Sharpness 3 now. Projectile Protection 2. Protection 2, that's fine. Uh, we've gone down to 9. Let's see if we can't use up this here. There we go. Put the books. Oh, six is fine. Bane of Arthropods, one. We had to do something like that. And then we get a protection one. Oh, the seven. Yeah, projectile protection one. There we go. Efficiency one. And our last book. We can't even do... So let's put a torch there. Last book. What can we get? We still can't get anything. Torch there. Last book. Still can't get anything. What the hoo ha hoo hoo. There we go. That should stop some. Yeah, we can get a two. Efficiency one. And that's it. So we got a bunch of uh, books. That's Efficiency 3, Projectile Protection 4. Uh, let's get these books in here. We've got Respiration 2. I actually want to use that on Helmet. Let's see, what does my Helmet do? It's just got Pro 1, and we need to <laughs> get stuff fixed. Uh, sharpness 2. Okay, that's good combat. Sharpness 2. Yeah. Silk Touch 1. We need this Silk Touch. Aqua Affinity. Those are going to go hand in hand. Fire protection 2. 
we'll put it over here, yeah. Protection two, yep. Efficiency one, we'll put it over here. Well, no, actually we can put it right there. Protection one. Bane of arthropods, yeah. That's not gonna go on anything. Projectile protection two, yep. Efficiency one, there we go. We've got an efficiency two book and a projectile protection. So there we go. We got a bunch of stuff. We'll grab our work pick. Uh, we're gonna use up this before we use up that one anyway, and we'll grab all of our junk, and make sure that we have unbreaking three, power three, power two, power one. Yeah, that's really not gonna help us for a lot of stuff. Anyway, oh, yeah, we can actually go down and sleep now. Let me get these torches off here. Next time we enchant, we're going to have full 30 levels. So we can actually drop straight down, but I'm not going to. We're missing flooring. Uh, what I've been doing is going through and putting in nice flooring with stone stairs. And I'm debating whether I make this all stone and then the floors like that. I don't know. Ah. Woo, doo -doo 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 -doo. Up we go. So, I think that's good for now. I'm going to go ahead and do a little tutorial on uh, my spider spawner. And uh, we'll see just how well it goes, how well it works out. I will append it to the end of this video. Um, if not, it'll be its own separate tutorial. And uh, I think the spider spawner will work. What the? Did we get a zombie out here somewhere? Oh. They're trying to get us. And then they do something like that and catch us on fire. Yeesh does not make me happy when that happens whoop doop doop and we've actually got to get this wall up too so that we can uh, make sure that we keep the mobs away from our little house and stuff and make sure that we get it up to encompass the entire area that we want um, I think we're gonna make it um, a mega wall and have it encompass most of this area here following this contour it'll be a really interesting contour to see it go though all the way over here like this. Yeah, I think that'll work. Oh boy. Let's let's see how far this goes. Oh. If we ignore this here and just follow around like this, we we have a pretty decent thing going on. Well, we can always just make it large, anyway. Yeah, and bring it around this way, and it does break off right here. We can bring it back around. Either or, and then around the top of this, and we'll have ourselves a pretty nice <laughs> um, system there. The farm is working... Oh, we got another zombie death. Uh, farm is working okay. I have not harvested it in a while because we've been working on cattle. Um, and one thing I want to do is get fire aspect on one of these swords and then we can uh, harvest cows directly for food without having to worry about cooking it separately. So kill it while it's on fire and you get lots of foodish stuff. Whew. Just like with the chicken. It gets Yep, we got a couple of chickens. You guys just keep on a growing, okay? Grow up, get burned, so on and so forth. The only way I think I can make this better is if I turn this into a cauldron. Um, replace this lab with a cauldron, then the chickens will actually sit still and not want to jump around or anything. So, until next time, I think I'll have that spider spawner fixed. Um, we'll have to see exactly how that goes, but... Uh, we're just going to have to wait and find out. As for what we're going to do next, I'm going to finish up the flooring in the castle. Though I'm really tempted to put the stairs on the outside rather than the inside. And have the stairs spiral up that way. We'll have to see about that. That might actually be a nice nice feature. 
Um, hmm. Oh, that was too close, too close. <laughs> so, until next time, enjoy playing Minecraft. Please like, comment, subscribe. It really helps me to know what you guys like. And, uh, as always, this is Excalibur, and I will catch you next time.